Big Al is here again today, folks. It's me. Which usually means we're drinking whiskey. And specifically, a lot of whiskey. I mean, it is a lot. We're drinking a lot of whiskey today. Oh, it's going to be a marathon. It's going to be. It, we're going to try not to make this video too long. We're drinking <laughs> like 16 different whiskeys today to try and find you guys the best, absolute best whiskey, $25 or under. All right, folks, drop your socks and grab your cooks. This is going to be a long one, ladies and gents. I don't have one, though. I hope not. I really hope not. If I haven't seen it by now, it's awfully small. We kind of had this thought of like, you know, economy's not doing fantastic. Everything's expensive. A damn loaf of bread is like $90,000. You got to take a second mortgage out of your house to buy eggs. And let's find the best budget bourbon it's not really bourbon there are some other just whiskeys like tennessee whiskeys but we really didn't do any scotches on this list or in this this competition this tournament if what, you will if you will because honestly uh i don't like any scotches under 25 bucks scotches because of import taxes and stuff tend to be a little more expensive really about 50 or 60 before any scotches are even drinkable in my book mostly bourbons with a few like american whiskeys mixed in. we got 16 of them a lot of whiskey to drink. We're gonna blind them, and we're gonna find you guys the best under twenty-five bucks to help out my my brothers the and cigars. sisters the and sisters. But I was gonna say the leaf, but that's that's the cigars. My brothers and sisters of the barrel <laughs> that are struggling with thirty thousand dollar eggs. I thought we were doing something original here. With I was like, you know what? It's March Madness. Like, let's instead of doing a standard blind. Let's do it in like a bracket system. And then I was looking around at Whiskey Tube and like several other people have done this very thing. So it's not quite as original as I thought it was when I thought it up. <laughs> but nevertheless, I think it's a fun way to blind whiskey. And honestly, with 16 whiskeys. Yeah, that'd be impossible. That, good luck flighting 16 whiskeys. You're going to be so fucked up. You're not going to know your ass from apple butter. It's, it's going to be bad. We put all of them in bottles and then I had my son, he labeled them and, and made the key for us that is over here and sealed. No Top secret. We have no idea what is in this bottle labeled D other than it's labeled D. Real quick, let's just briefly, briefly go over the whiskeys that we're gonna be drinking today. Old Granddad Bonded. This is a hundred proof whiskey, about four years old. $25 is what I paid for this stuff. Made by Jim Beam. Rebel 100. This is another 100 proofer, non-age dated, made by Luxro, and it comes in, I found this bottle right at $20. Next on the list, one of my personal faves. This is my Vanna White, by the way. She's assisting me. My personal me. fave, too. This is Allison, she drinks, she's already, I've had to replace this multiple times because she's a raging alcoholic. Wild Turkey 101, obviously 101 proof, non-age dated, but uh, from what I've heard, it's about six to eight years, and I found this bottle at my local store for $21 and no holla. High hopes for this ranking highly. I don't know that I've had this one. Very old Barton. This is an 80 proofer, a weeded bourbon, non-age dated. And this one, one of the more expensive ones, and you can tell by the very high quality plastic cap, $15 for a 750. Now this one was one of my dad's absolute favorites. He absolutely loved this stuff. He used to claim he had drank a uh, whiskey or a tanker full of this stuff in his life. Mm -hmm. He particularly liked it. He always drank it with a little bit of water and he liked to chew double mint gum when he drank it. I need to try it with the double mint gum. I've never tried that, that way, fun. but that was his jam. This is Old Faithful Jack Daniels, number seven, black label, probably the most popular whiskey on the planet. Now this is a Tennessee whiskey, a sour mass whiskey. Found this guy, 750 locally for $22. Jim Beam Double Oak. I generally really like Double Oak products. This guy is 86 proof, non-age dated, but they say it's over four years, and I found this locally for $21. After that, we have a different version, very similar bottle, but this one is Jim Beam Black Extra. Extra aged is what they call it. This one is 86 proof also, non-age dated, but they do say six years range on this one, and I found this one for $20 locally. Old Tub is next up. Now this is another Jim Beam product. This one is 100 proof, non-age dated, but a uh, company says it's about four years old. I found this locally for 25 bucks 
And this one supposedly is unfiltered for more robust flavor. I'm hoping they didn't make this shit in an old <laughs> bathtub like meth. <laughs> But I don't know. I've never actually had Old Tub, so we'll see. Moving over to good old Evan Williams. Evan Williams, bottled in bond. Bottled in bond, so obviously it's 100 proof. Not age dated, but you know, the whole bottled in bond means, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it has to be at least four years old. Heaven Hill product. This I've actually had for a while. I didn't buy this for the video. I think you could find these for around the $15 to $17 mark most of the time. So super affordable bottle. Sticking with Evan Williams, we have, and I don't think I've actually had this one, strangely enough, 1783 small batch. Now this one is a 90 proofer, not age dated, but they say six to eight year range. Uh, another Heaven Hill product, obviously. And this guy I found for $20. This next one, Maker's Mark, was one of my favorites when I first started drinking bourbon for a very long time. Very popular, 90 proofer, not age dated. And this one is just just kissing the budget limit right in the ass for $25 locally. Ah, Old Forester 100 Proofer. One of my favorite budget bottles. 100 proof brown foreman product with Old Forester, which I love a lot of their stuff. It's just a budget banger. I have, an, this is another one. I have very high hopes. Now watch this some bitch come in 15th, but I have high hopes this is gonna end up high and I found this bottle for $22. Another one I have not tried before Ezra Brooks 99 proof, non age dated. This is another Lux Row product, and this is another one that was just tap dancing right on that line. I found it dead at $24.99. So just skated in for 25 bucks. This is one we just recently did a video on. Uh, we did the whole benchmark series. This is benchmark small batch, 90 proof, non age dated. I think it was around, I've had this one for a while too, so I think it was around the 18 to $20 mark on this one. And this is, of course, a Buffalo Trace product. I have never been a huge Four Roses guy, personally, but it's a huge one in the community. There are some good bottles of Four Roses. This is their cheap entry-level bottle, 80 proof, non-age dated, but I think most of their products are at least five years, uh, and you can get a 750 of this stuff for around 20 bucks. If Dan and Sean are watching this video, they're gonna hate this one, because if I'm not mistaken, they hate almost all George Dickel products, but this is George Dickel number 12, 90 proofer. This is a non-age dated, and this one was right under the limit also at $24. All right, folks, let's take a quick second there to thank the sponsors of this week's video, AG1. AG1 is the quickest, easiest way to make sure you are filling all those nutritional gaps in your diet. It is super hard to get all the vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and probiotics in every day with just normal eating. With AG1, you get all of that and more in one simple scoop a day. You can replace a whole host of other supplements with one scoop of AG1 and six ounces of water. Back in the day, I can remember having to take multiple pills and powders a day in order to get all the goods they have in this stuff. It's got a full range of vitamins and minerals, dairy-free probiotics and prebiotics, which are basically food for the probiotics to help them establish in your digestive system, adaptogens and antioxidants, which support better sleep and help in lowering everyday mental and physical fatigue. It can also benefit cognition, memory, and the nervous system, a superfood complex with antioxidants that are known to counteract free radicals that can cause cell damage in your body. And with all the whiskey and cigars I be drinking and smoking, you know I got some free radicals up in here. They also have digestive enzymes and a mushroom complex in there to help naturally enhance nutrient absorption. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> and those shroomies help support your immune system. In the morning, first thing when I get up, I mix one scoop of AG1 in about six ounces of water and I drink it down. That way, every day I start off with a solid foundation for my body. I've been using AG1 for several months now, probably a little longer than that actually, and I really have noticed a difference. Your boy here has what we'll call a troubled digestive system. We'll call it that. Let's just say lots of hot wings and beer and stuff in my youth has not left me with the best gut health. <laughs> that has greatly improved since I started taking AG1. I'm assuming it's because of the prebiotic, probiotic mixture it's in there. I feel more focused during the day. I'm less tired in the afternoon when I normally hit a slump. Just generally feel better. With my link down below, you'll get a one-year supply of the immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, I always have a hard time saying that, and five free travel packs. The D vitamin is great. You just throw a couple drops in your AG1 drink in the morning and Bob's your uncle. Done. 
full recommended daily dose of vitamin D. Some D3 to support your immune system is never a bad thing. I also love those little travel packs. It's a great way to get your AG1 on the go. Nice little single serving portions for when you need your AG on the go or when you're traveling. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you check the links below to get started on your AG1 and get a one year supply of D3K2 and five free travel packs with your first ODA, not odor, like order. <laughs> Thanks to the folks at AG1 for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. It's a good thing we've got our gut health in track because we're about to have to drink 16 whiskeys. That's a hell of a lot of whiskey. Round number one, or match number one. There's gonna be the whole round. So maybe this whole first series is round one, match one. <laughs> round one. Match, match one. Game one. Game one. Game on, bitches. Round one, fight. A over here, B over here. And we actually have little sheets that we're keeping track of all this because there's way too many damn whiskeys, unlike our normal, like, you know, five or six whiskey blinds. So, whiskey A. I actually like that one. Cool. Hey, first whiskey's always got a little heat, but the flavor's <laughs> there. The okay. flavor's there. That's actually tough. <laughs> That's good too. They're different. I will say neither one of them suck though. No. We were talking before. We're like, it'd be much easier just doing A B comparisons and trying to like do six. <laughs> no. I'm leaning one or A. I don't know. B's pretty good too. They're both nice, sweet, very typical bourbon flavors. Nothing offensive. Both got a little Kentucky hug on the end there. I'm gonna go A. Yeah, and they both have a good amount of flavor too. They're not like super bland. And B had a little bit of like a weird aftertaste that I didn't like. It was a little bitter. So A for me for round fight one, round one. C and D. Why do I feel like C is a bean product? I could be totally wrong, but there's a nuttiness there. Could be a, either a bean product or potentially dickle because I get like a peanut flavor in dickle sometimes. I get a nut flavor <laughs> with dickle. <laughs> nothing like that you nut. Said it, I was like, no, nothing like that nut flavor on a dickle. There's something about D that reminds me of a Texas whiskey. And I know none of these are Texas whiskeys, but it's got that like leathery. Funky Texas funk. I'm going C. I'm, I'm C. I'm a C girl. Yeah, I'm gonna go C. There, there is a little bit of a whiffy, weird, funky kind of thing with with um, D that I'm not super into. C for the win. E and F. Yeah. E F E. Not much to that. It's not horrible. It's just it's a little bland. It's kind of it didn't it didn't it didn't hit like the other. I got like nothing on the nose either. Uh oh. <laughs> There's something in the nose of that one. I'm not feeling. No. Uh uh. Nope. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, it. like it. What is that? I don't know. I don't like it though. That's easy. Well, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, e. E for the win. This is a quick one. Good. Move along. <laughs> e. G and H. It kind of smells a little like feet. <laughs> it's kind of footy. It's a little footy. Okay. Like some blue cheese. Is this fucking blue <laughs> cheese of bourbon? What's going on here? No, wait. It like started off all right, and then it got weird. No, toward the end, it went like candy corn for me. No, I love some candy corn, y'all. I don't get that. Yeah, I'm going H. I like H better. There, there's definitely something a little weird about, about G. You don't want it to be weird. But the end is better. I'm going to go with the weird one. I'm going to go G. I'm, go, I'm going. Right. I'm going. I'm going. G unit up in this piece. All right. I J. I like the front. Ooh. I like the middle. I like the end. That's good though, right? Are we getting like sucky ones together and good ones together? I know the <laughs> the, the the finish on that is. Yeah, that's good. Dude, Jay is slapping. What is up with <laughs> that? That is real smooth. Why do these have to be together? Why couldn't I got the funky foot? Same with A and B. Why couldn't I have gotten the foot cheese one with this? I know. I'm a big fan of but both. But but I stu <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I, it's so good. <laughs> I, it's stuttered. The sweetness on I is a 10. Jay 
is almost as sweet, but I feel like it's got a little more to it. There's a little more flavor. Yeah. It's got a little bit, it's a little more rounded. I'm gonna go with, with uh, Jay. Yeah, Jay was my first. But I is damn good. I would have slapped, got a G and H. So we've only disagreed on one. KL. KL. What was the Superman name? Kal-El. Kal-El. Look at you with the nerd knowledge. <laughs> he used to watch Smallville. Smallville. I stand by Smallville. And so Kel L. Kel is it Kel L? Kal L. Kal L. Back in the day, that show was really good. I'm a nerd. Like it is what it is. I watch all the Star Wars. I watch, but I also watch all the Yellowstones and shit. Which, by the way, <gasps> 1923, you, had, you, had, you guys. Is it 23? I really want. What's his name? Spencer. Spencer. I really want Spencer to come home and just fuck He's everybody my up. Fave. It's not bad. Solid. Not as good as I or J. It's kind of like thick, right? Got a good mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. You have to whisper it. Mouthfeel. The, the whisper, it, 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 that's ASMR. K. On okay. task. That's what, that, one, that one took me on a weird journey. Like in the beginning, I thought it was going to be really weak. I thought it was just going to be sweet. Yeah. And then it, it kind of had a little punch, a little something to it after. Yeah. The, the like I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Oh, man, that stuff, they're very different. I'm going to go with, this, with L. It's, yeah. it's sweet, but it's a little boring. I think L has a little more yeah. interest. L for the W. L for the W. L for the W. M-N-O-P. 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 The further this goes. M-N-O-P. Yeah, the more we drink, the harder it's going to be to be like M-N-O-P. M-N-O-P. No, M-N-O-P. Yeah, M. Okay. In a minute, I'm gonna need some toilet paper to, to wipe, wipe my butt. butt. Right, that, what that's are we the doing? That's the funniest version of that song. Because um, the original version is sung by who? Is it Lizzo? Lizzo. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah, yeah. stand Lizzo. her. I cannot stand Lizzo. Whoa. Ooh, hang on, Whoa. I want to smell first. Whoa. There's a lot going on there. So I weird. don't even know what to say about that. I like it. Is it weird if I said leathered cherry? Is that a weird note? I like it. It's good. It's different. It's It's... A very, I don't know what to say about that. It's a very different flavor. I like it, though. Watch that be the old Barton. That one's good, too. Why do we keep getting good ones together and shitty ones together? I feel like I taste like a cinnamon, bacony, spicy situation that reminds me of turkey in that, that second one. It gives me something weird on the end, and I feel like I like the first one better. Hey, that's the thing about tasting is you're never wrong, right? That's it's true. It's completely subjective. Like that's true. What you taste is, is what you taste. Yeah, M takes me on a little funky journey. I'm going M. Oh shit! I'm sorry about knocking your teeth I out. Just chipped my tooth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think if N was in another ma match, it would have won uh, because I do really like N. Yeah, I like M better. M. There's something funky. I didn't have a funk. I enjoyed you. N, but oh. M took me on a little flavor roller coaster yeah. ride. We got O P, Allison's old dog O P O P <laughs> O old O. These last couple have been. It's sweet, it's earthy, it's got a little tartness to it. It's got like a fruity sweetness to it that I can't quite put my finger on. Mmm. Coffee. There's coffee in that. It's good. It like it hits you with a hard sweetness, almost a coffee note, or maybe a, a tobacco. I don't know any notes. I just know I like pee. You like pee? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were into the old golden showers, babe. You can't say you love pee on the internet because people will clip <laughs> that out and it'll be a thing. Yeah. It was that definite for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm that firm on it. Are you sure? Did you taste A again? Or A? Did you taste <laughs> O again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? You didn't go back. You went one, two, then you just picked. There's only been a couple in here that I was like, no, dog. Most of these, I am super surprised at how reasonably good. Yeah. I mean, for sure, for the price point that for the are. price point. I mean, shit, dude. I'll pay some of these <laughs> bottles. I spent like 150, 200 dollars on, and some yeah. of these aren't that far off. No, I would I agree. Mean, I mean, look, I already put my selection, but I might change it. <laughs> but you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm changing it. I'm changing it. P's good, but I am leaning a little O. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going out. We only disagreed one time. All right. Yeah. Well, that is the end of heat number one. Round one. Well, round, round one. <laughs> Let's just say we have now officially gone through all of them yes. once. Let's get into round two. Here we go. I'm not going 
going to lie to y'all. 16 whiskeys, your boy needed a breather. Uh, <laughs> because the uh, the judging was going to get real... Sloppy. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't going to be good. So we, we took about an hour, ate some food, and and, and let things settle just a little bit. I remember really liking A. Yeah. I don't remember about C, but... Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. That That is, and I know I've said this a few times, but that is very stereotypical bourbon. Right down the middle of home plate. Yeah. C. It's like that, huh? It's like that. This one, it kind of hit me in the mouth. The flavor was mm-hmm. a little more pronounced. It had a little more of a Kentucky hug. It was just a little more, hey, I might change my mind. Remember the one time you jumped the, the gun on mm-hmm. the first and then you changed? I'm going to go back and taste it again. There's a little bit of a nuttiness in this one, too, that I kind of enjoy. Both really good, but I think A. I'm sticking with my original. C. C. Now, this is the first one we have different. So I have E and G, and you have... E and H. E and H. So it's just this one that's different. We both had E. We both have E. Okay. So E. Yes. This is the same. <laughs> that's an easy sipper. You could crush that. Mm-hmm. Still has like a lot of flavor. Right. No, it's good. Shit. This one's not as easy as the last one. I like them for different reasons. Going E. E for the win. Really like both of those, but E... I feel like it's just a little more crushable. Alex Trebek died, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So who does Jeopardy now? Blossom. Blossom does Jeopardy? Yeah. Fucking weird. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm really torn between these two. <laughs> well, you better get untorn. I think I'm going to go H. You're going to go H? Is that your final answer? Locked it in. Locked it in. H. Back to match it up. JL. Makes it easier, honestly, because there's not as much shit floating around. JL. Jay's a hitter. Jay's a hitter. That's a nice round one. Wow. That's another one of those ones that's like everything's balanced. The sweetness is balanced with the earthiness is balanced. With yeah. The spiciness is balanced. There's there's no, it doesn't lean crazy in one direction. It's just a nice, round, enjoyable. That is good. L's good too. But I, I, I'll, I like I like Jay better. First run, I like Jay better. Yeah. I'm not even going to go second. Yeah. I'm going Jay. I agree. L was good. L was good. But, but Jay was special. I liked Jay like right away. Right. Yeah. My stomach is like going bubble, bubble, bubble. Like you're putting a lot of bourbon on top oh, of a lot of greasy buddy. pizza. A yeah. lot of greasy pizza. You Probably know. gonna regret this. It's not a good sandwich. Greasy pizza actually soaked up some of the stuff and helped. But yeah. then when you put the more on whiskey top. on top, it's like, nah, dog. The whiskey pizza sandwich is not doing your boy any favors. Man, that doesn't taste like much, does it? No. Compared to what we've been drinking, that seems a little <laughs> lackluster. Maybe in the 80 proof That's range. Nice. Oh. Was it? Did you? That was an easy one. O for the win. Show me your O face. O, O. First one, we've got two totally different. Two <laughs> so totally. We can't discuss this. We can't get, get out of here with your get shit. Out of here. Get out of here. With your, get out of here, Gary. Get get out of here, Gary. <laughs> C's good. E's nice. A has a lot more like. Oh, this is much smoother. So Flavor I'm, wise, though, which one do you like? So I'm torn. Like I said, there's no rights and wrongs in whiskey tasting. It's whatever you prefer. Man, these are tough. Man, it's it's. This is when it starts to get hard. That's what she said. <laughs> He can't resist. <laughs> I can't not do it. I can't. It's like it's like a, somebody with Tourette's. This is like easy. It's smooth. It's easy. Like you could easily like just. You just said easy ninety seven times. I don't have like nutty and leather cherry and bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> well, you just call my stuff bullshit. <laughs> what it's called? What the? F- just know it would be easy to drink. Well, which with, one? Which one did you like? I'll go with A. I'm going C. This one was traditional standard with a little. There's a little. Little Wang. Nobody likes a little Wang. No. 
We don't. <laughs> That's fucked up. J-O, got the same ones J-O. on this one? J. Mm. Mm. Oh, J's good. You're, you're getting down Was to some... Was this one that we were like, J? You're getting down to some hitters. J's tasty. That's tough. <laughs> J is... Um, J's good. Not, J's real good. <laughs> O's very good. I mean, I, there is nothing wrong with O. I mean, we're, you know, we're, like I said, we're down I to... I really this. like O. I think, I think I'm going J. Going J. J's in my... My f- my f- my final is C and J. Yeah, J is good. <laughs> solid, bro. It's solid. This is just good, like off the like. It's just off from the, the rip. rip. Like as soon as you sip it, the sweetness hits you, yeah. and there's like a density of flavor. There's a little bit better mouthfeel to J than there is to O. I'm talking about this like it's a hundred dollar bottle of bourbon, and it's probably like a twenty. But hey, hey. hey. I mean, hey, hey, hey. hey. The final. The final countdown. It's the final countdown. So my final is C capacity. and J, and your final is A and J. A and J. Ooh, C's a hitter. J is really good. It's close. Do you know? It's close, but I'm going J. First little taste, you're like, mmm. That's the yeah. thing. I think that thing about J that wins. They're so close, but J, it does. Like, yeah. as soon as you taste it, the second touches your lips. Oh, I want to know what it is. Let's see. We have the official. Officially sealed. Ah! Sealed. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Jay was the winner. (laughs) No way. What is it? Is it old grandpa? Wild Turkey 101. (laughs) No No shit. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Yeah, look. No shit. See? No shit. Look. Listen. Your girl likes what? Wild Turkey. Larry. Jay, just so you guys don't think I'm bullshitting. Jay is Wild Turkey 101. Now, C, which was second place for me, was Old Tub. Old Tub. I never had Old Tub, but What's appara- a? apparently I like it. A is e- Ezra Brooks. If I get down into our semifinals, Jim Beam Black Label. So that was a very good one. And then O was another one, which was the Old, old Forester 100. So. Several of these that pop up. What was your other semifinal that didn't match mine? J-O-H. H. H was Four Roses. Now, see, I'm not a big Four Roses guy, so H. And he didn't pick it. <laughs> I didn't. H got knocked out first round. So okay. I picked Benchmark over Old Roses. Or Old, old Roses. <laughs> <laughs> over. I've had too much fucking whiskey, y'all. I tell people all the time, Raw Turkey 101 is one of the best like budget bourbons yeah. on the market. It's good. Old Forester popped up in the semifinals, which Old Forester 100 is another one that I recommend all the time to people. Old Tub is a surprising thing for me, so I'm going to lean into that a little more and see it because, like I said, that was in my final. Here is the, the, the moral of this video. There's a lot of really good expensive whiskey out there, and the good expensive whiskey is good shit. No doubt about it, but don't knock the cheap shit because it's good stuff the wild turkey i mean i put that in my drinks because i i usually i drink a cocktail she typically. likes she's but a, i would drink that neat i like that by yeah I, clearly i like to buy itself wild turkey it's 101 the winner, winner, chicken dinner came through with the win the wild turkey 101 before we go though we do need to so do fun. a we need to do a drawing for last week's giveaway real quick. And we were giving away one of these guys right here. One of these big old hunky glass trays, as we call them. And go. And the winner is Tom. Venazio. Venaz- Venazio? No, v- Ven- Venanzo. Venanzio? Venanzio. Venanzio. Yeah. I skipped, Tom, I skipped an N. Tom, My apologies. I'm sorry if I'm totally jacking your name up. Venanzio. I think that's right. I am bad at pronouncing. But you are the winner, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being a subscriber. Tom says, cool video, and thanks for the review of the Flat Rock. Love the use of the torch on the cigar. Yeah, man. <laughs> I use a map torch all the time to light cigars. I I am anti snob <laughs> on the cigars. I use, if you can see it in this video, I use a Zippo. Anything with fire. Anything with fire, man. <laughs> uh, 
anything. I'll be putting down below in the comment and telling you to uh, reach out to us via email so we can get your, your information and you will have a nice glass tray on the way. Congrats. Congrats, brother. Do another one real quick. Let's do, we haven't done a beard brand giveaway in a while. Put a little something out there from our friends at Beard Brand. We love those guys. It'll probably be some beard oil, maybe some beard balm, some beard wash, you know, stuff like that. Rules are, as always, for every giveaway, you got to be subscribed to the channel. You have to like the video, smash, smash that, that like, like button. smash that <laughs> son of a bitch, smash it. And then comment down below, hashtag whiskey business, because we drank a whole lot of whiskey. <laughs> And hashtag beard brand, because that's going to be the giveaway, and that helps me remember. <laughs> so <laughs> hashtag, real. Yeah, hashtag whiskey business, hashtag beard brand, and we'll give you, we'll draw a winner in the next upload. One more big thank you to the sponsors, AG1. Love those guys. Appreciate them supporting the channel. Definitely go check those guys out. Put the links down below. Free vitamin, <laughs> we've been drinking too. Free vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs. <laughs> Jesus, try to say that after you've had 1,900 whiskeys. <laughs> Big it's thing. It's your AG1, y'all. But click the links down below. Definitely go check those out. I'm going to start doing a weekly live on the second channel. Uh, you guys have been complaining that I have not done any leaf and barrel content. So on the second channel where we do all that cigar stuff, um, we're going to start Leaf and Barrel live weekly. So we try to have guests on as often as possible. We're going to have a whole cigar, smoke it, hang out, do a live stream. We're going to drink some whiskey, do the whole thing. And you'll tell them ahead of time, right? Yeah, and, I, cigar? I, and I'm putting out ahead of time a monthly schedule so that that way you guys have time. If you're interested and you want to go pick those up, you can definitely go uh, snag them and then you could have it along with me in the live stream. Starting in April, I'm going to put some stuff on Instagram stories to let you guys know which, what, which cigars we're smoking in the live. And... Um, like a YouTube announcement. Like I'll probably, yeah, like well. A, not the, I don't know what those are called. Yeah, I guess I could do. YouTube's weird about cigar stuff, so I have to be oh. kind of careful about that. I'm redoing my website, and once my website's done, we're going to start up a newsletter, and then uh, if you sign up for the newsletter, oh. we'll we'll promote it in that also. I need to go drink a lot of water <laughs> and, like, not drink for about a week. I and, need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to go to bed. She's going to work tomorrow. Trooper. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was really interesting. If you did, feel free. If you did, feel free to smash that He's like off button. His game, I'm off guys. my game. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. Hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. Nailed it. Sweet baby Jesus. That that <laughs> that. I drink often. I don't drink a lot. True. There, there's a difference, right? Like I True. drink several times a week. I'll have a little pour with my cigar at night. But I have a drink, one pour, like an ounce, and I'll sip on it over a 45 minute span. I don't normally down 19 pours in, well, we didn't drink the whole thing, but 19 pours in an hour. <gasps> your boy, your boy struggling. <laughs>